My name is Fred Etish. I'm a martial artist, a mixed martial artist, and a, basically a jack of all trades. I got involved in the UFC through a student of mine up in Minnesota back in 1994. I saw it as uh, a supreme challenge, something new, something that wasn't out there, and I saw very few venues to truly challenge oneself physically as a martial artist at the time. During my fight, I had really have no true recollection of what I was thinking or what was going through my mind after I got into the cage. Psychologically, mentally, I had pretty much checked out. I was unable to focus, unable to concentrate, and the whole thing to me is fairly surreal. Looking back, it's almost like a dream. After the fight, I was made fun of as a mixed martial artist. I was made fun of as a traditional martial artist. I was kind of a pariah in both worlds. You know, many traditional martial arts people were very angry at me because I went to the UFC in the first place. And after I went, I performed so poorly. Back in that day, many traditional martial artists thought that UFC and mixed martial arts were contra to the tenets of traditional martial arts. I didn't happen to believe that. If you took those tenets with you, if you took those values with you, if you, if you, if you took the best part of the traditional martial arts with you, then it was a good thing because you would have those values, you would have that tradition, and you would still be able to test yourself physically. And ironically, it seemed that the criticism would spike. It would get worse when other things in my life were also falling down. I had a son die, which is a hard enough road to hoe for anybody. And trying to deal with that, I was still getting emails, I was still getting remarks made on internet forums. I was trying to keep myself together. I was trying to keep my marriage together. I was trying to keep myself productively occupied, but it seemed like everything would be falling down all around me. And to be honest, I did think about suicide. I didn't act on it because that's how I lost my father. And I have a son that is alive and I'll be damned if I'm gonna to do to him what happened to me when I lost my dad, for any reason. And a strong person finds a way to overcome. And I lost a physical fight, but I didn't lose the emotional fight. I will never lose the emotional fight. I will always find a way to overcome, always, no matter what it is. Earlier this year, after 15 years of not fighting, I came back to do at least one more fight. And I did it because of some things that were inside of me that for 15 years I was unable to put to rest. I really wanted before I got too old to try and go out and represent myself in a way that I, that I thought I could be proud of. So at the tender age of 53, I gave it a shot. I fought a young guy up in Minnesota who was probably about my son's age or maybe a little bit younger and I happened to come away with the win in the first round. He was the guy that had to fight Fred Edish, and that's kind of a no-win situation. If you beat me, then you beat a guy that fought in UFC 2 and was no good back then, and now he's a 53-year-old man, and if you lose to him, then you've lost to that same guy, so how does the guy win? So I, I, I appreciated him stepping up. Yeah.